that was just magical. That looked for another world. I never had an experience like that. And I think in those terms, it will be hard to beat. Not, not have expectations when you see a forecast with 62 knots you sleep thinking about this you pack thinking about this you fly over there thinking about this because it's gnarly kite with 62 knots is a lot of wind we're gonna be in Ireland and it's cold it's rough it's extreme <laughs> The wind was definitely not what we thought it would be. We went there to ride over 622 knots and after 25 minutes, the wind was just gone. So yeah, at this point it was a lot of, a lot of frustration. We have to rely on nature for kite surfing. We need the wind. It's always very unpredictable. Nature can't be tamed, but we can learn to dance with it. That's why we came because we looked in the forecast. There was a really storm day, a lot of wind, but the, the wind dropped a bit. We got like around 80 kilometers per hour of wind, okay. which was nice, but also was a lot of rain. Yeah, today was today was the rain was very heavy. Mm -hmm. Is this your first time talking or? Yeah, yeah, first yeah. time in Ireland. Okay. For all of us, he's uh, British, but he's also Irish. Okay. So. <laughs> You only been here like once for one day or something, and then we, no. we came here and it was like, Welcome to my country! <laughs> <laughs> Claim to fame. <laughs> We didn't score the crazy strong wind, but I think we got something so much better. We got the kind of raw essence of what Ireland is all about. This unpredictable weather that changes every two minutes and keeps you on your toes. My best memory from Ireland was taking in all the scenery, the rawness, the sheerness of the cliffs the contrasting green hills, the rainbows. It was, it was magical and it was really medicine for the eyes.
just want to explore the world. I just want to go somewhere where I never been before, get to know new people, culture, experience. Entering the unknown, being open-minded, less focusing on the end goal, but really consuming and absorbing the process. That's what makes something successful.